Okay, here we are at the Heroes Guild. That was Whisper. Um, you had to run out, and I'm lagging, so it's all crazy. <laughs> and you had to run out and go meet the Guildmaster at the arena thingy. I, I don't really know what it's called. It's practice area, whatever. <laughs> so you run out, and um, there's these apples on the ground. You can pick them up. Um, let's see, there's another one. You get at least five of them. I don't know, maybe you only need four or three. I'm not sure. I always pick up these five or four. However many there are, I didn't really count. I just pick up these ones out here and run back into this building to the right. Right there. And you keep running. There's a lady in there and she's making a pie for the guildmaster, but she needs apples. So I give her apples and she gives me a pie, which is kind of funny. <laughs> but she gives you a blueberry pie, so I guess that makes sense. I guess the Guildmaster doesn't like blueberries. That's okay, because I love blueberries. They're amazing. So you run back out, and you don't have to do that. That's just for a free pie if you want a pie. Um, yeah. So you go back. So much running. <laughs> go back, talk to the Guildmaster. And he's going to give you uh, some instruction on how to fight. So, you are in the ring thing, and you hit it uh, for seven times, and it's like, oh, that's, that's not very impressive, sorry. Here, use a stick. I think that's going to be much better. So it gives you a stick, and then you got to hit it with a stick. There you go, stick hits, there, yeah. Oh, and it's done. It's dead. Alright, and he says, um, we'll talk to you tomorrow, there's something in the forest, go check, see what it is. So he gives you the beetle quest that you have to go to the guild forest for. Go up to the forest. It's on your map, it's blinking. Alright, so you're in the guild forest, you have to kill ten beetles. You can see below your mini-map, the count right there, zero out of ten. And these little red things, you hit them with your stick and kill them. I, I suck, it's lagging. I have too much stuff running in the background. <laughs> so you hit the beetles, hit the beetles, kill all the beetles. And they make funny noises too when they die. It's like, Wah. I don't know. <laughs> um, so you kill all the beetles, get your experience. I think I left some back there a while. And then leave. <laughs> do 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 do. Waiting, waiting. Alright, so when you come out of the, the forest, um, the guild master is like, time to leave your childhood behind. And then it goes to a cutscene, and um, you're, you're a well, teenager now. And, um, Whisper challenge you to uh, beat her to the guildmaster for training, so you're running. This is a shortcut, I think. I don't know, it seems shorter to me. You just kind of go out and there's stairs right here. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm yawning, I'm tired. <laughs> so you got to the right, and you'll see the guildmaster go, just like you did when you were a little child, come out here and talk to him. But, oh, guess what? We get a real weapon now. We can actually do some damage, sort of. It's only iron. So you take your sword out and hit Whisper. And uh, uh, you don't have to flourish. It's probably quicker if you don't flourish, because all you have to do is hit her. But when she's blocking and you're fighting, you're actually fighting her, you're going to need to flourish. She blocks too much. Alright, now you're defending. You have to just let her hit you a few times. I dodged her like an idiot because I forgot I was supposed to be blocking and letting her hit me. So um, if you just roll up to her, she hits you every time. So roll, hit, roll, hit. Mm, it's kind of slow because I'm lagging, but yeah, that's pretty much the easiest way to do that. And now you're going to fight her for a real sort of, sort of practice. Just hit her, roll around her. Um, she's going to do her foot thing and like try and... Um, let's see if she'll do she like comes at you. I don't know. What's going on? Why? I don't know. 
Anyway, she usually lunges at you with her feet, and then she swings. So usually she does a two-swing thing, so be careful. She won't just swing once. She, yeah, see the foot thing? She swings, and then kind of roll behind her, catch her off guard, do whatever. It's easy. Um, when you're doing your um, grading, you can only get hit like once to get an A plus for the prize. So there's that. He's like very good. I mean, by the archery range for your training. And so you get to the archery. And I think the archery is probably easier than fighting with Whisper. I mean. Oh. Whisper just blocks too much, I think. I don't know. Anyway. So first you just have to hit them. Because they're stationary and that's it. That's all. It's easy. This is just some uh, rudimentary stuff, you know. Teaching you the basics. Not very hard. Um. Now... This is pretty easy. All you have to do is zoom in, aim for the back one that gives you the most points. Um, it's kind of hard to determine when you're going to hit it. I mean, if you're ninja enough, you can hit it, no problem. I miss a lot because <laughs> I'm horrible. But I can usually get up to 300 points. Um, all you have to get for the prize for the grading is a U crossbow. All you have to do is get like 100 points, I think. Um, yeah, see there, I just hit 100 and I still have like 30 seconds left, so it's pretty easy. I can usually, like I said, get up to 300, so no problem. And I just hit it. And <sighs> the I wouldn't worry too much about hitting the first one. It doesn't give very many points, but the middle one very easy to hit. You can hit it pretty much every time. It moves slow and easy to predict. Um, so I would hit that one as much as you can. I got like 299 here I think. Yeah, 299. <laughs> but the further you hold your thing back the more points you get. So you can't just like fire one after another like bam bam bam. You gotta hold it there and wait to get your uh, best amount of points. <sighs> And here's the will training. Um, will is really easy. You stand there and you just use your will and pop. There, he's dead. <laughs> um, for the grading, all you have to do is get 15 points. Um, but make sure not to hit anyone else. Um, see, the dummies will do this turn around thing. So you have to wait until they turn back around to do it again. And it's really easy. You just sit there and wait until they turn around and it automatically... We'll just target them and hit them. Um, I had issues when I was playing on an Xbox that I would accidentally target the guild master. So you don't want to do that. Um, they'll get you sent to Maze's office for a little talking to. But um, other than that, pretty simple. All you have to do is get 15 points. Not hard. Oh, what is this? This is, looks like it's out of place. Oh, or this is the grading. This is the um, sword grading, I see. This was out of place. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. This is the grading, not the practicing, I see. I'm all confused. What the hell's going on? <laughs> um, so, yeah, you're just going to see everything again, I guess, because it's the grading part. You get a chance to either um, just move on to um, the maze test, or you can do the grading, go play with um, Whisper for the gr and do gradings for prizes. My thoughts are so not like organized right now, I'm so tired. Anyway, so same thing, like I said, you just have to get like 100 points or so. You may have to get less than that, I'm not sure. You can see my high score up at the top right. Um, you don't have to beat the one you did before. I don't know if that's a popular idea, just to get the prize, but I did worse this time, and I still got the prize, so, no problem. See, I'm only getting up to like 200, I just, pain. See, I keep missing it, I'm a horrible shot. Oh, and I hit it right there, but I didn't see how much I got. So yeah, these are just the gradings, um... 
had a little issue. See, it kept, it kept targeting something else. It's like, what the hell? Target the damn thing. <laughs> so, yeah, good thing is, it's really easy just to get 15 points. Um, you know, it, it takes no time at all. You may have to get less than 15. I don't know. I'm just saying the least I, I get is 15 and I'm safe. So. Bloody hell. A plus. Yeah, see, I'm not ninja, right? You get that prize. Um, the prize for the sword was an iron katana. Um, not too much better, but eh, it's worth it. Um, there's some green dots on your map. Um, what you can do... Oh, wait. I'll talk about that later. Right now we're going to go play with Whisper in the Forest. And that sounds bad. <laughs> um, anyway, so these are bandits. There's three of them. It's easy. Um, you can zoom in if you want. But as long as they're red, um, you'll hit them, as you can see. Um, when they're not red, you, you probably won't hit them. Um, they like to hide. They're little bastards who like to hide behind things. So it's harder to hit them. So it's easier if you zoom in. Um... But generally, I just stand there because I'm lazy and I don't like to zoom in. <laughs> but yeah, you kill them. You don't really get anything for it. You just go tell the guild master. Okay, so these green dots, what I was talking about earlier. There's a guy to the right. Has you kill ravens. You see that was a raven on the tree. Yeah, right there. Raven. Um, he has you kill this guy. Um... He, he's bragging about um, running to the demon door and back in 50 seconds. So, um, you can do it this way um, with him standing right there. But um, it's easier if you take your stick and bash him closer to the bridge. See, because if he's closer, then it's easier to do. I mean, I, I barely did it with like eight <laughs> a second left funny. So you just bash him closer and then you take his challenge and run. You can also talk to him from, you know, close to the bridge. It's easier. I was just being a ditz and didn't talk to him like that. <laughs> so you run to the demon door. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo, try and avoid, like, getting... Oh, crap. I guess it stopped recording. Oh, that sucks. Then I just run to the demon door and come back and you're good. Alright, this is the fight with Maze. Um, all you have to do is, you know, hit him with your sword, then your bow, then your magic. He doesn't do anything in retaliation. So, you're safe. It's really easy. Well, this is the last test of the guild training, so... As soon as you're done here, you graduate and everything. Um, then you get to do your, you get some experience, so you get to do your skills. All right, and then he's like, "Oh, that was quite impressive for a novice. So condescending." Anyway, so now you can leave the guild forest. And right there, that's a fishing spot. You're gonna have to get later, but you need a fishing rod first, which I don't have at the moment, so I have to do it later. You'll find yourself coming back to the guild often enough though, so. That was a random out of place clip. You see, I still have my uh, stick on from the earlier time when I used it. It doesn't work hitting him with a stick, by the way. <laughs> I thought it might, but no. You have to use your sword. So, use your sword. Do 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 and hit him. See, that's an out of place clip there. <laughs> I should organize these things better. Oh, and look, that's that's where I was running to the demon door and back. Yeah, see, they're out of place. <laughs> I think I'm just going to leave them there because it's funnier because I didn't actually look and see that these things should have been in order already. Oh, well. Anyway, you can see how close of a call it was, you know, getting there and back. So I run out of time, like, as soon as I talked to them. Like, one second. Oh, 